And speaking of being afraid of your own shadow, because yeah. Donald Trump may be upset by what you say. And you're in the running for Veep states. We actually had a guy who at the beginning of the campaign, we were talking about positively of being able to go out on the campaign stump and being able to energize Republicans Be with a, compelling a fairly candidate. traditional, positive, conservative message. And that was, of course, Tim Scott. That, that guy has completely disappeared. And now, when asked whether he would support the democratic process and whether, Mika, he would support election results when Americans go out and vote, would he accept those results? He couldn't answer. Can't do it. This is an interview on Meet the Press where Republican Senator Tim Scott, who is widely considered to be on Trump's short list for vice president, refused to answer whether he would accept the 2024 election results as legitimate, no matter the outcome. Here's that exchange. Well, Senator, will you commit to accepting the election results of 2024, bottom line? Well, at the end of the day, the 47th president of the United States will be President Donald Trump, and I'm excited to give back to low inflation, low unemployment. Wait, wait, and Senator, high yes or no, yes or no, will you accept the election results of 2024 no matter who wins? That is my statement. But, but is it just yes or no, will you accept the election results of 2024? I look forward to President Trump being the 47th president. Kristen, you could ask him multiple but times. Senator, but just a yes or no answer. Day. So the American people, the, the American people will make the decision. But I don't hear you committing for President Trump. That's that clear. I don't hear you committing not, to the election see, here, results. Here's the challenge. Will you commit this, to accepting this is, the election this is results? Why so many. This is why so many Americans believe that NBC is an extension of the Democrat Party. At the end of the day. I said what I've said, and I know that the American people, their voices will be heard, and I believe that President Trump will be our next president. It's that simple. But, Senator, as you know, the hallmark of our democracy is that both candidates agree to a peaceful transfer of power. So I'm asking you, as a potential VP nominee, will you accept to commit to the election results in this election cycle, no matter who wins? Just simply yes or no. I expect... I expect President Trump to win the next election. Listen, I'm not going to ask you, answer your hypothetical question when, in fact, I believe the American people are speaking today on the results of the election. And if, the, continue, if it continues for the next six months, we find ourselves in a great position where we get back to another century of American prosperity. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I, I'm, I'm stunned. I actually, I can't believe in 2024, after nine years of Donald Trump being on the political stage, that we've gotten to this point, Donnie Deutsch, where you have a United States senator who understands if he has any chance of being on the short list, uh, for Donald, being Donald Trump's vice president, he has to say he won't accept the results unless Donald Trump wins. And I, let me just say, how astounding, <laughs> how, how astounding that he would say that NBC is a wing of the Democratic Party because Kristen Welker asks him, Will you do what we were all taught in grade school and in middle school and in high school? Will you do what has long made America stand separate from our enemies? And, and will you accept the will of the people? Will you accept the magic of American democracy that was written about in the making of the president 1960, that the Americans uh, getting out of their homes, leaving their apartments, uh, get, uh, driving off their farms to go vote all across America and collectively decide who the next president of the United States is going to be. Will you accept that? And his answer was only if Donald Trump wins. He couldn't just say, yes, of course I'll answer that. And again, 
pre-Donald Trump, I will say even pre-2020, everybody would have said, why, why of course. That's, that, I, I can't wait to talk to Ann Applebaum about this, Donnie, because you talk that. about the twilight of democracy, but Donnie, your reaction to that? Another tough Republican, once again, Joe, could not answer the question, will you accept the results of an election? And what's most befuddling about that is not the spinelessness of, of these characters who are following Trump to, to not even admit, admit the basic fundamental of democracy and say it's okay, but that the people listening, it's not registering. I, I've said this many times. I have conversations with friends and say, do you understand there won't be a real free election if Donald Trump is elected? And they go, no, that's not possible. No, I, I, what are you talking You're overreacting. Yet you hear it not only coming out of Donald Trump's mouth, but coming out of his followers' mouths. They're telling us, as authoritarians do or as followers of authoritarians do, they tell us what's coming. Now, the big question, maybe Ann can answer this, is why are so many people not listening or not at least believing it? Yeah. So this is Jonathan. the Republican Party, Joe and Mika. This is who they are. And it's yeah. an open audition to be his vice president. And there seems to be, as we often say, no, no bottom here. We have a governor of South Dakota thinking that bragging about killing a puppy will make her look tough. We have this, a pretty well-respected senator from South Carolina suggesting, uh, the, you know, that he would not go so far as to defend American democracy and free and fair elections, which is the bedrock of who we are won't do it because he doesn't want to dare upset donald trump it's all about flattery it's all about dear leader that is where the gop stands right now is trump has has remade it in his image and i'm told um, that he's still in the very early stages of the vp process he is in no rush to make this decision the convention's not to the middle of july they think that even if it's sort of mid to late june that's fine even early july perhaps he likes this he likes i am told these prominent republicans kissing up to him and trying to win his favor and we should not forget this a senior aide told me over the weekend as much as he likes the flattery, it's also simply not Trump's focus right now. He is consumed by the criminal trial in Manhattan, resuming in a few hours. So he's just going to enjoy the adulation without making a decision anytime soon.